In this video, I want to tell you about this new Blender add-on called Simply Shatter, which takes the complexity out of smashing things in Blender. So this add-on helps you create controllable fracture effects without the usual manual effort. You can shatter objects such as glass, walls, etc. and then easily run physics simulations on the pieces. It gives you controls to choose the shatter method, whether it be low poly chunks or high poly detail shards, and adjust how many pieces, randomness, etc all while keeping full control over things like normals and keyframes. When it comes to fractures, Simply Shatter doesn't disappoint. It lets you choose between multiple fracture methods. As I said, whether it be low poly shatter, for broad strokes, or detailed high poly crack for intricate breaks. Then you can dial in exactly how many pieces you want via an adjustable resolution setting. You can control how chaotic or uniform the break is with a randomness parameter and the tool even automatically fixes the shattering on newly created fracture surfaces so your shards look clean. I also found it handy that it comes with six preset shatter patterns out of the box, and the good thing, you can mix and match these presets to get something different, I mean different fracturing styles, without starting from scratch. So for example, if you need a classical radio broken glass pattern or a more irregular shattered look, you can use one of the presets. And all these controls are available through a simple UI panel, so it is really straightforward to use. And once you have cracked an object into pieces, the real magic shows up. What do I mean by that? Well, Simply Shatter ties directly into Blender's physics system, meaning those fragments can fly around and collide realistically without you setting anything manually. There's even a real-time preview mode to test how pieces fall or bounce, which is fantastic for tweaking the effect before you commit to a full simulation bake. In my test, I could easily play with different collision behaviors through the add-ons interface. For example, making shards static, so they don't move at all, fully dynamic, which means they don't respond to gravity and collisions normally, or toggling fun options like sticky shards that cling to surfaces on impact and the slippery ones that slide around like they are on ice. And I think it is really neat to have those physics presets instead of having to juggle numerous physics settings by hand. On top of that, the add-on gives you control over how and when the object breaks apart. You can have pieces pinned in place until a certain frame, mark parts as a breakable only on impact, or even allow an object to follow an animated motion and shatter at a key moment. And these kind of options allow you to do a lot of things. Now. If you've ever used the built-in sound fracture add-on, you know it can break an object into pieces, then you're left with fiddling with rigid body settings, colliders, and constraints to actually animate the destruction. In contrast, Simply Shatter handles all of that. I mean, it handles it for you in a toolkit, which makes it more efficient. For example, it automatically sets up keyframes and physics for the fractured pieces, and it even lets you bake and convert the simulation to keyframe animation whenever you are happy with it. This means after running the simulation, you can export the motion of every shard to regular keyframes, which is super useful if you want to retime the action or do some slow motion effects without rerunning the physics simulation again. On a side note, you can easily adjust how violent or subtle the effect is, so it can do everything from delicate artistic cracks, for example, statue generally fracturing, to an over-the-top explosion of fragments. One really nice touch is that the add-on isn't limited to just the physics side. It also provides some sweet extras on the shading side. It comes with six glass material presets and even a built-in procedural dirt map system that automatically adds subtle grim and imperfections along the crack lines for extra realism. You know. The dirt map is generated based on the shatter pattern, so your broken surfaces can have a bit of dust and glass shard scratch detail without any extra work on your part. As you can see, little additions like these really help sell the effect and make the shattered object look believable, which is gonna be the icing on the cake for your renders. And there you have it guys. If you like this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.